Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I can't believe it. The coup d'etat, Trump, the Joint Chiefs of, Chiefs of Staff, General Milley, all of these guys talking to Nancy Pelosi. We won't let him press the button. So let's do that. Trump's coup d'etat. Yeah, so who'd have thunk? Um, well, I guess everybody should have thought. But anyway, I'll read uh, to you just a, not even a page, I think, of what I've, uh, kind of pertains to this. And it's just fascinating. And it all comes out around the time that this new book comes out. So take yourself back. This is September 7th, 2020. September 7th, 2020. And here's the big question. Is Trump planning a coup d'etat? That's what the Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, Mark Milley, General Mark Milley, and uh, addresses to the rest of the guys. Hey, uh, Army, Navy, uh, Marines, Air Force, come over here a minute. Let's talk about something. Charles Fried, Ronald Reagan's Solicitor General. Okay. Uh, looked at what was in the streets, and this is, remember, September 2020, and it scared him, like the paramilitary use of the fascist leaders in 1930s Europe, which he knew something about in Czechoslovakia, because that's where he was born, and his own family had fled uh, Nazi occupation. So he was witnessing the same uh, thing, uh, the Nazi paramilitarism in the United States, the same. Trump was using the Department of Homeland Security and other governmental agencies in a very menacing way. You might as well write Nazi across their back. It's kind of a thought. And uh, Freed, he was a Harvard Law School professor, but he increasingly worried uh, in recent months about, uh, remember September, in recent months about Trump's willingness to stir up chaos and violence as an electoral strategy. Okay, he saw it. Uh, he concluded Trump is racist contemptuous of democratic norms and believes his interests are the interest of the nation and therefore keeping him in power is in the national interest right and now let's go to today in 2020 i think that makes you a racist doesn't it yeah so let's see what questions we can ask and what the cards can answer okay so this is the jungian tarot yes you read it right the jungian tarot as in carl jung so i don't know i saw this and got him on a whim and thought you know how weird could it be so this is a uh, wang robert wang you know who's the fellow who puts all these cards is uh he developed this jungian tarot tarot rather uh kind of uh, to take you through some of the uh, and it's got a good box too of the um ways that these might be used in a medical <laughs> application. So anyway, it tells you a little, a little bit about uh, Carl Jung and uh, psychoanalytic uh, uh, um, issues that they thought the pictures that he developed for these cards, he developed for these cards, might actually help out. So it's interesting, you know, but they're basically terrible images. They're just not as clear as other images. But I tell you, it's a really good box. It's a cool box. You've got a, a bottle of cologne in this. Is, is kind of the kind of box it feels like. Now, the cards are cool. That's the back. They're very interesting. I don't know what they all mean. And the front... Uh, do kind of follow the Rider, Rider weight system, but you really have to know your uh, Rider weight system. I mean, there's some of them are okay, but some of them really don't give you uh, the clues that, you, that I know I depend on. So you got to know it. And uh, but they're great cards. They've got a good feel. They're just the right size. And you know, I like to mix them up like this so that uh, you get to look at uh, more cards than just the uh, seven or ten or how many you might see during a pull that one of us does on television. So now I've got these all upside down, I'm sure, so even worse for me. But uh, that's the Jungian, if you can believe it, Carl Jung Tarot, designed by him for psychoanalysis. Amazing. Might like them. Okay, so and now, present day, we've got Mark Milley, General Mark Milley, uh, just um, alerts. Uh, everybody, hey guys, uh, we may have to take down the president, I guess, you know, and uh, actually has a conversation with Nancy Pelosi to let her know, no, he can't use a new military code. We've got it all uh, figured out. Don't worry, Nance. He can't blow up the world if he doesn't win. I mean, 
these are actual conversations that went on. So what are the questions? What are the questions? Um, would Trump have, out here, we're going to do this in a full Celtic cross, two parts as usual. Would Trump have actually uh, tried to uh, command uh, the military to win that election? Would Trump have actually tried to command the military to win that election? Would Trump have actually tried to command the military to win that election? We'll take six cards out here for that. So this is one, two, three, four. Five and then over here is six. So put these over to the side because we're using the end. And right now, we'll see what is a signifier for would Trump have actually used uh, military. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's the ten of cups. That's really um, you know your you you your whole family's involved. Okay, so this is all encompassing. So this is happy family, uh, rainbows and sunshine. And uh, so uh, it could be interpreted that uh, he would have used everything at his at his. Uh, Disposal, but let's see what the challenge to that is. The challenge to that is going to be ah, so this is this going to be the king? Yeah, hey, this is actually the king in this deck. So this is the king of swords, and um, you know the king of swords is uh, that's swords of truth and justice and rules and law. And so I think uh, just like what happened, uh, the Constitution through General Milley uh, trumped uh, his uh, his golden desires. Uh, the the basis of this then. Is uh, the four pinnacles, and the four pinnacles is always like, holding on to your ground, making sure that you've kept your word. So, would Trump have used? He would have gone as far as he could without actually losing grip. That's what would have happened here in the past of this reading. Uh, so, this is going to be oh gosh, I want to say that this is going to be a page of wands. Page of wands. Yes. Okay, so this is the page of wands. And the page comes to you with an idea. He's not the fellow who has the idea. He hasn't thought of the idea. This comes to him in a closed envelope, and he turns it over to the court. He brings it, so don't kill the messenger. But in the past of this reading, we've got the page of wands. So we had a spark of some kind of insane idea uh, that filtered its way up to Trump. In the sky in this reading, um, okay, this is the magician. And the magician has everything available to him at his disposal to make this thing happen. And that's what could have happened and has happened in other countries. The um, the the leader of the coup uh, has enough of a, um, a magnetism towards the uh, military leaders to bring them along through money or whatever it is. And um, we pledge allegiance to our constitution. So, and then the likely outcome of this uh, coup d'etat from Trump well, it was it was always going to be celebrations, but celebrations on the side of, of truth and, and justice. So it was always going to come out this way. It was never going to go the other way. But if you want to ask the final question, I think I have to shuffle for this, is um, did he have, the first one was, did he have uh, intentions of doing that? And um, could he have ever carried it out? Last four cards. Could he have ever carried it out? I'm going to cut this four times. One, two, three, four. And let's see what the cards tell us. Could he have ever carried it out under any circumstances? The self of that question is, look, he's the page of wands, okay? He's not a fellow with a uh, with a lot of might. Oh, no, he's the prince of wands. I'm sorry. He's the king of wands, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, this is the king of wands, and uh, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, so as the king of wands, um, he would have given it everything he had. He would have given it just as he still is doing everything he's got. And it's in the um, environment of what? It's in the environment of four ones, which are small celebrations. Four ones are kind of like just little celebrations that might uh, keep, hold you over until the next one. But I notice there's a big black orb in the sky here. So he's in an environment of small little winds along the way that keep his fire lit. The hopes and the fears for that is the um, ace of coins. So the hope is that he gathers enough value, enough of these um, idiots to keep going. And the likely outcome of the whole thing then is the two of wands and it's continued small term planning with, with, a, with a little blue sky ahead of him. So he will just keep on and keep on and keep on. And yeah, if it, if it hadn't stopped there, uh, he would have, as he still is trying to find a way to make it happen.
So that's the first time using those cards. I've had them for quite some time. But uh, it all started out with uh, what he what he done. He got the great big uh, ten of cups, which means everything he's got. He put everything he would he would continue to put everything he's got into it. And um, but he was in the challenge by the king of swords, truth, justice, right, not wrong. And uh, the 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 bottom of it was that he was always wanting to hold on to something. And a true leader, I mean, a true person who's really given will give up everything to get there. And he's too much of a coward for that. And so um, he comes out in the sky. With the as a magician, you know everything that he needs is available to him. It's amazing. But the likely outcome of the whole thing was always going to be the three of cups, small celebrations with a dark spot in the future. And uh, then for the self of would he have ever gotten it done? Yeah, king of wands. He would keep on trying. He would uh, uh, cherish every little victory that he could uh, could manage. Um, it's all about the money and his worth, and uh, he will continue to look for small celebrations with some little spot of uh, brightness in, in there. He will continue. He won't stop. This man will not stop. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.